Hello, and welcome back to Cardboard Decoy Plays Don't Starve. So, let me see, where did we leave off? Um, I think for the most part, we left off in the idea that we were going to go chop down some trees. I think that's probably uh, the forefront of importance at the moment. So yeah, we've got an axe, we need to go do that for sure. And uh, yeah, this is actually the first recording that I have done in my new apartment. Everything is about as settled as it's going to get. Um, it's definitely a pretty cool setup that I've got. Uh, my new apartment is totally A-OK. -okay. And, uh, yeah, so if the sound sounds a little different, it's more than likely because the, the acoustical dynamics of the room itself have changed pretty significantly. So it should be interesting. I don't know if it'll be better or worse. Um, I have a different sort of uh, air conditioning system going on. The room is much bigger. I expect maybe a little bit of an echo. Regardless, it should be kind of cool. Um, so, yeah, if you watch all my other videos, you're probably going to hear me say that multiple times and uh, throughout all of those. But uh, regardless, yeah, the fact remains the same. I have a new apartment. New things are going to happen. And uh, hopefully I can recover my routine here fairly simply and not have to worry too much about everything being weird and different and uh, having to change my routine a little bit and that kind of a deal. I'm hoping to pick up right where I left off. Uh, but, yeah, anyways. So, again, we are... WX68, I can't remember exactly what his, his number is specifically, but I do remember that uh, we're playing a robot. I don't know if I went over his special abilities, uh, because I looked him up since then. Like, I started playing the episodes and was like, I know he does some weird things, but I can't remember what they are. Uh, one of them is he can be struck by lightning very easily, and when he does, he gets a bunch of bonuses, so that's really cool. Uh, he eats gears, which is, uh, you know, that's that's fine, I guess. Um, you can use gears for some really useful things, without a doubt, don't get me wrong. But uh, if you eat them, you get some crazy permanent bonuses, and so it'll be a very tough decision. Uh, probably end up with only two fridges, and then after that we'll eat the rest of the gears that we come across, and uh, that will be primarily how we handle things. So, uh, let's... Whoa, no, we don't want to do that, that's not a full-grown tree. We cut a non-full-grown tree, which makes me a little sad, maybe. But I think we'll survive. So, but yeah, so right now we're just cutting down wood. Uh, I need to make a bunch of treasure chests in the name of being able to store all the stuff that we had collected uh, while I was searching for a place to set up base. So that's basically what we're doing right now. Um, so, uh, yeah, let me think. What else has been going on? It's been like over, it was, it was about 12 days there. I got my internet connection yesterday, and uh, it was just in time. Like today, the last episode of this particular set of recordings that is Don't Starve. Um, they, uh, the last one is airing today. So I'm kind of like, oh, hey, you know what? I should probably uh, record some videos and uh, maybe upload them or something. Oh, hey, look, it's poison birch trees. Who'd have thought? Okay, we're just gonna run away from those guys. We don't want to mess with them too much. So we can kill the little guys from birch nuts if we really want, I think. Oh, yep, there we go. Easy peasy, nothing to it. Okay. And there's going to spawn some more. And yeah, more birch nuts for us. Not the biggest of deals. I've seen all of your comments regarding uh, being able to kite things around. And uh, yeah, like I, I explained a couple times, but basically it's like, it's not that I don't know how to, it's just the timing is weird. So I'd rather just wear a shit ton of armor and uh, run around and hope for the best. That and also... Yeah, I well no, I was about to use the like the focusing excuse thing, but I know whenever I start fighting something like that, I just shut up anyways, and it doesn't matter. So it's not really an excuse in this case. So uh, yeah, moving on. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Let's see. Do we do we have any birch nutters down here that I can kill fairly easily? Oh, yeah, that's a tentacle. Uh, oh oh oh, that's cool. Yeah, you know what? Let's, uh... Okay, they kind of leap at you in attack, so... Not exactly how I expected it to work out. Alright, well, you know, we'll pick up these twigs and then go back to base. I think we have enough wood now to suffice for what we want to try to accomplish here. Plus also tons of birch nuts, and those will be, uh... Those will be handy. So, let's go ahead and head back for now. There's a pig house, which I will explain my new, uh... Theory on how to deal with pigs and pig houses. Yep, there we are. Okay, cool. Um, so, yeah, that's not too bad. That's good stuff. And it was relatively easy to boot. Let's do that, and then we're going to cook up some birch nuts. 
and eat a whole bunch of those. Okay. So we just need to play it cool on the damage front for now. And uh, hopefully that will work out fairly well. Let's go ahead and eat. Okay. So, treasure chest. We have one here. And this has sort of our stone stuff. Let me see. Do I have anything else that needs to go in there? No, not really. Alright, let's go ahead and refine. One, two, three. Structures. Chest. This will be twigs and hay. How about that? Will that work? I think that'll work. Let's do that and that. Okay. And then we'll need... Hmm... We'll need a gearbox. Not necessarily, like, you know, the software company or anything, but uh, just a place for where we set our gear. Man, I really confused myself with that statement. I'm like, I need a box for gears? No, I'll be using all of them pretty much as soon as I get them. That's silly. No, I'm referring to, like, the actual gear that we see here laying around. Winter hats and whatnot. Let's go ahead and stash those. And that's enough for now until we get a better situation in regards to how we are uh, handling everything else. Let's just go ahead and plant these. This is sort of our temporary tree reserve right here. It's almost night. So we'll hang out over here and discuss uh, where we're going from here. Okay, I've accomplished that much. So I still need a ton of trees, but I'd rather have pine trees because birch nut, uh, poison birch nut trees tend to spawn just an insane amount. It's absolutely silly. Uh, also, primary food sources. So, hmm. I don't see any spiders anywhere. It seems like there should be at least one spider spawn around here. Maybe I'm just missing something. I don't know. Uh, do I have a spear? I don't have a spear, but we can go pick it up by that one pig house that has the just random spear laying beside it. That's a good place to maybe go source that. Um, and then, yeah, and what I want to do is start collecting pig butts. Oh, you know what? We can do that by making a hammer. Okay, I just need three rocks. Do I have three rocks? I should. Yes. Okay, cool. Tools. Hammer. Why is it... Is it always discovered? It seems like one of those things that you had to build first before you could build it again. Like, you had to prototype it, but maybe I'm wrong. Either way. Okay, so now we have a hammer. And I'm gonna go get the pig butts from uh, the touchstone. And then... Oh, you know what? I should probably go ahead and make some log armor. It's a good idea to prototype some rope as well. So we'll do fight, and then log suit. There we go. Cool. Alright, so we are outfitted as much as we want to be for now. Uh, we'll go grab the spear and then make our way down to the touchstone where we're going to find those pig heads on a stick and then uh, sacrifice them or, you know, deconstruct them for their pig butts and then we'll be able to make a football helmet and we can rest assured that we will not die immediately as soon as we find anything even remotely threatening. Um, let's also, let's see, backpack, can I prototype backpack? Yes, let's go ahead and do that. So, there we go. Uh, let's, oh, let me, there we go, pick that up. Alright, we've got everything we need for our little excursion here. I'm going to pick grass as we go. And, uh, our birch nuts will carry us over for a couple days, uh, before we start seriously looking for extremely reliable food sources. So, up here, where was it? I know there's like a random spear stuck in the ground. There's also a pick up a crank thing. We'll do that just for funsies for the time being. Um, we might deconstruct that pig house, actually, but we'll, we'll get to that whenever I get to that. Uh, hmm. Ah, yes, and then there's the box thing. So that's three components for the potato thing. Uh, and that is a very special sort of device that I will have to explain at some point. Basically, it's a teleporter, and it teleports you to another world. It's a fresh reset. So if you're, like, completely exhausted all your resources, you're totally screwed something up, or managed to just, you know, get yourself in a situation that is uh, nigh unfixable, then you can use it to basically reset the world and get a new world seed, and, uh, yeah, things are good after that. So we have three out of the, I think it's four things that you need in order to do that. So there's one more around here somewhere. And uh, once we find that, we can go put all the pieces together and uh, you know, things are good, basically. No big deal at all. Uh, so, but for now, we don't really need that. We will start picking up manure as we find it. 
Uh, that means there's beefalo around here somewhere, right? Yeah, here we go. We got a little beefalo herd. So we'll go ahead and pick up manure because we'll want to start building farms in fairly short order. Uh, even though winter is coming fairly soon, at least we'll we'll have the farms ready for spring where food might be a little bit harder to come by, what with no rabbits. Oh, hey, and there's all of this stuff and uh, some bone chips. So we'll go ahead and... There we go. And let's see, anything else? Yeah, just more manure and grass and stuff like that. So yeah, we're just doing some basic harvesting. Uh, I watched Barry Taffy's uh, Don't Star videos. I thought it was kind of sad because he did like forward the first block and then he said he wasn't enjoying it as much as he thought he would. And you know, here's the thing. Here's my, my thought on what happened there. Bear Taffy is very, very good about going into games blind. Like he'll play them and not look up anything. And uh, I think for some games, especially games like Don't Starve, there there's this new sort of idea. I don't know if you could really call it that. It just seems like a thing. But I, I hmm. How would, how would you phrase it correctly? But basically, uh, you know, these games are built around the idea of community so much so that, you know, they, they give you very little information to run off of. Kind of like Minecraft in the early days of Minecraft where, you know, it was just this game. Like, this game was provided to you and you played it. And that was it. It gave you no information about how to do things. You had no idea how the crafting system worked. It was just sort of a, hey, here you go, enjoy, and uh, there you go. That, that was it. That's all the information you got. And, uh, you know, it wasn't exactly the most accessible crafting system either. It was like, okay, so you have these materials and you have to put them in a certain situation, or, like, you get this 3x3 three three grid that you have to arrange the materials in to craft something. And it's like, okay, so, um, yeah, there you go. Here's two pieces of wood. And if you put them in the wrong configuration, you get nothing. And you're like, okay. And for me, it was very much a, like, this is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Like, I understand, okay, let's let's try to make a sword shape, right? All right, that, that sort of works, right? If you uh, have, like, a rough idea of what the game is expecting of you, you can kind of make out the shapes of things. But that's just it. You had to go to the community and find somebody who, you know, either hacked into the game's files or had a lot of spare time to just sort of sit there and mess with it, and then eventually they figured out, oh, hey, yeah, no, this is this is how you make this, this is how you make this, it's real simple, yeah, yada, yada, no big deal, got it. And, you know, that's cool. That's, you know, there's that element of discovery a lot of people are really, really into, and I can't fault them for it, because, you know, discovery is a lot of fun. That's one of the main reasons why it's kind of fun to play games, but... On some games, it's, I mean, if you're, if you're, especially if you're trying to perform at the same time, like, hey, let's keep this interesting, and uh, a bunch of people are watching me, and that kind of a deal, and I have no idea what I'm doing, like, I, I can't do it. Me, for one, I can't do it. So, I definitely could not blame uh, Barry Taffy for not wanting to play Don't Star for a while, uh, because it is, it's extremely nebulous. It does a good job of kind of guiding you in the sense that, you know, you, it, it's, led by your own curiosity. Uh, all you have to do is go to this panel on the left and kind of look at what's available to you and what are your options. And you can see that things are locked and it says, hey, you need to have a science facility for this. And you're like, what's a science facility? It's probably under the science tab. You go to the science machine and see, oh, hey, I need this stuff. So let's try to find these things. I need rocks and gold. Gold sounds kind of interesting. So there must be some special conditions to meet in order to actually procure said gold. And it kind of leads you just very, very gently lead you into the right direction. But at the same time, once again, if you have other things in your mind, like performance or whatever, that's a little bit harder to focus on the, the exploration aspect whenever the game is demanding of you, like, quiet thought. Like, just sort of a very solemn sort of, okay, so let's let's think about this. Let's think about what the game is providing me and uh, what we should do and that kind of a deal. And You know, if I, if I had just dropped in this game blind and started trying to play it, I mean, I already had preconceived notions that were proven very incorrect in the long run, but, uh, you know, if I had been like, yeah, okay, let's do this, I would have just, it, it was a nightmare trying to start out the game to begin with, just because it is so freakishly difficult, and there's a lot going on that, you know, you're not necessarily prepared for right off the bat, and it took, uh, it took some getting used to, and, you know, I wasn't going to make videos of any game if I'm not particularly familiar with it, because I realize that's just an effort, an extreme extreme frustration for me, and uh, doesn't really sound very fun, to be honest. So, you know, that's my opinion on that. 
Uh, let's see. Twigs, grass, and flowers. I do need to grab that. I want to make sure I have a pretty parasol handy. Or, like, even a, a for real umbrella. What do I need for a umbrella? Umbrella. I keep forgetting. Umbrella. Two spider webs. Alright, we've got to find spiders somewhere. I'm gonna guess we're gonna we're we'll check the periphery here and see if there's any spiders in this biome that uh, we can make use of hopefully, and uh, yeah, kind of go from there. Let's see. Uh, oh yeah, I've got pig butts, so I can let's do some refining. Yep, get all of that, and then uh, fight. We need. Ooh, where is? Oh, is it under clothing? No, it's not structures. Ah, here we go. Yeah. Oh, oh, I need an alchemy machine. Hmm, shit. Okay, what do we need? We need two of those thingies, uh, which needs gold. Okay, so we've got to find a reliable source of gold. We've got the pig king up there. Ah, here we go. Let's go ahead and just make this alchemy machine, is what I say. There's no reason to delay it. Alright, and now we need four boards, and we do not have enough wood for that, so I'm going to have to go cut down some more trees, which is fine. Uh, let's see, what else do I have currently in my inventory that I can offload? We have plenty of grass, so, yeah. Um, let's see. Ooh, 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 ooh. Cut stone, bone shards. We'll have to come up with another box here fairly soon, but this will be fine for now. And, yes. Okay, cool. So we still need more wood. Um, what do we need for a farm, actually? Ah, we can go ahead and uh, make a couple. Alright, there we go. Well, we can make one. We can make exactly one, but now we need trees. So I think I'm going to go try to hunt down some pine trees. And, uh, well, we're going to search the periphery for spiders, because we need spiders for things. And uh, then we're going to try to find some pine trees that we can import back over here and start growing our uh, our take-home forest. And then we'll build that alchemy machine and we'll be able to move on with uh, the stuff that's going to be vital for our success here. Okay, so let's see. Down here? What do we have down here? Well, we've got this, which I hate to chop it down, but... Uh, on, max. There we go. There we go. Yay. Can we, can we pick the tumbleweed? There we go. It stops. That's convenient. Alright. So, three sticks. There we go. This is what I want. Alright. As long as that doesn't turn into a tree guard, we're, we're good. We're good to go. Alright. Choppy, choppy. Alright. Do I have a shovel? I do not have a shovel. How much do I care about having a shovel right now? Not that much. Uh, we're not exactly clearing out the forest here. We're just... Trying to get some pine cones and wood and uh, supplement our reserves here so we can build a couple extra farms. That's really what we're trying to do right now, short term. So I guess I could start trying to dig up uh, saplings and whatnot too so I can have a little twig farm going. We'll need that in the long run. But uh, I think really, we'll, we'll be fine. Okay. But yeah, just taking it easy. Uh, one day at a time, as per the usual, and don't starve uh, in an attempt to not completely screw myself. We will try to have to hopefully find a couple uh, checkerboard clockwork areas so that we can get some gears and make fridges. I know we have one up here. It's quite a ways away and we still have to disassemble that fridge there so we'll we'll definitely get around to that. But uh, that'll, that'll, we'll get to that when we get to that. Let's see. Lightning rod, rainometer. I'm trying to see what else do we have here. Drying rock, crock pot. Uh, hold on. Axe, and done. There we go. Alright. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to... I'm trying to get myself mentally into this uh, zone where I can kind of plot the three or four steps ahead while I'm doing something tedious so I don't always have to do all this in between episodes because I'd rather have as much uptime on the air as I possibly can. And, uh... Unless, and until I get to a point where I'm just, like, basically clear-cutting a forest for an hour or so, which is, uh, yeah, again, not, in my opinion, not that entirely watchable. Oh, come here, tumbleweed! No! Come back! You have the great potential to drop many a useful thing. Here, come here. Yeah, yeah, you know, that's, that's not unuseful. Okay. Doing pretty good on logs. That's good. We do want to keep our wood supply up. 
This will be enough pine cones to get a nice little forest going. And, uh, yeah. I mean, still have enough food for a few days. It's not perfectly ideal. It's not like, oh, we're ready to get the crock pot going or anything, but what we're trying, we're, we're just trying to establish uh, some basic infrastructure. So, uh, with the pigmen, uh, so if you feed them monster meat, which is one of the reasons why we're trying to find spiders right now as well, aside from the fact that spider web is, like, inherently valuable, um, uh, you can feed them th four monster meat, and then they become a were pig. And when they become a were pig, you don't get any naughtiness on your uh, list there, so you can kind of kill them with impunity. And, uh, or without impunity? I can't remember exactly how you're supposed to phrase that. Uh, regardless, the point is you can kill them without a whole lot of uh, drawback to it, and uh, that's real handy, to say the least. And uh, for the four meat that you invest, the four monster meat, mind you, which is, you know, only so valuable, you get a return of two normal meat and a uh, pig blood. Yeah, so the idea is uh, make a bunch of pig houses and keep them fairly close by in order to make it so that you can... Uh, make use of that sort of thing. Yeah, anyways. You get what I'm saying. Uh, get a bunch of pigs so you can farm them. Especially when it's a full moon out and you have less to worry about. Can I just straight up attack him? I guess I could. Let's see what happens whenever we attack one of these birds. Oh, oh no. He's gonna run away. That's fine too. Okay. Well, let's go back over here. The temptation to kill a beefalo is pretty strong, but we're gonna hold back for now. And uh, we're going to go back to base and kind of implement some of the stuff that we were trying to do, like building pine trees and whatnot. Uh, we are going to need some charcoal, so I'll start a little stand of trees that'll be specifically for burning, and then add the rest to the other set of trees that we will be using for um, our, our log supply. So, real easy stuff, real simple. Okay, picking up manure while we're here. Okay, so we've explored the savanna. There are no spiders, of which I can tell. Um, and, uh, so we might check out this birch forest. Oh, no, we haven't, we haven't explored down that way. Eh, no, I'm just gonna head back to base for now. Um, so yeah, but that's basically it. So, this, uh, this episode's basically over. I'm gonna make it back to base over here, and whenever we come back, we'll start the next day, where we will continue to explore and hopefully find some good things that will forward our cause considerably. There we go. Still in winter mode. I started playing my other game. I, it was 131 days, and now it's 142, something like that. I can't remember. Um, regardless, yeah, I made, made some progress on the uh, other map that you probably don't care anything about whatsoever. Um, but I thought I'd just say that because, you know, why not? Uh, let's, uh, where do we want to put these? I want to put them far away enough so that they don't catch anything else on fire. Let's start with 10 charcoal. Producing trees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, cool. And that will help us considerably to do things like get boomerangs and, uh, you know, all that other fun stuff that's usually associated with charcoal and uh, its many uses. So, mm -hmm. and too bad you can't, like, burn stumps and get charcoal. I think that would be a pretty, pretty efficient method of doing things, but again, that would probably make it way too easy. So you gotta burn the whole tree. Oh well, say la vie. Okay. Uh ah, yes. Let's go ahead and make a couple more farms. We'll just do build basic farm like this. We're gonna build up, up and away. Oh, and before we use all of our wood though, let's absolutely make our boards in stone, and we'll do that, and that's how we'll tie up this episode. Uh one, two, three, four. Is that right? Uh, yes, and now two stone blocks, which we have three from that other little camp there. So let's go ahead and we'll make our alchemy machine, and then we'll hammer this. All right, that's how it's done, son. All right, uh, oh, 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 and alchemy machine, like so, like so, there we go. Perfect, okay, so now we're already up to alchemy machine, that's real, real good stuff. Uh, I definitely prefer it that way. Let's, I'll cook up a bunch of these and eat them. And yeah, uh, this has been Cardboard Decoy playing Don't Starve. If you've enjoyed, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Have fun.